Lieutenant Commander Ashley Williams, the second human specter in the system. I recognize you. You're Commander Shepard. And you must be Tactus. Heard the refugees consider you their leader. Yes. Someone needs to sort out this mess. Sounds like Garrus. CSEC has tightened access to the Citadel, and we've got desperate people down here with no place to go. I also hear you need basic is... medical supplies. Dr. Shakwa spoke of a mutually beneficial trade. I tried to be clear. In my experience, the Alliance looks out for their own. Trust is a hard thing to come by these days. I know you need our military supplies, but they're worth far more than your basic meds. Her offer wasn't satisfactory. Your people need our supplies, and my people need every edge we can get. Your combat-grade meds will make a difference, and our mission may just save everyone. Now is not the time for pettiness or mistrust. With our day-to-day -day worries, it's easy to forget we are all in this together. I'll have my people contact yours. You'll have your supplies as soon as possible. Awesome. Plus five Paragon. Uh, James is in seven. Oh. Back this way. More? James? Commander, what brings you down here? I was about to ask you that. Well, after our little chat, ow, I made up my mind. I'm gonna join the N7 program. And you're celebrating by getting a tattoo? <laughs> sort of. See, there's no official channels to go through right now. So, I guess this is my way of making it official. Technically, I'm just an N7 recruit, but, you know, I figure with you as my training officer, how could I fail, right? I'm flattered, but I wouldn't exactly say I'm training you. Not officially, but what the hell is in this goddamn war? I'm just saying, whether you like it or not, you're my direct superior and you're N7. So I take my lead from you, and you know, I'll take whatever advice you got. Really? Sure. The good advice. Well, they wouldn't ask you if they didn't think you could handle it. Here's hoping. But the real work starts now. Uh-huh. I know it seems like I don't take things seriously, but when I commit to something, I fully commit. Clearly. Hey, I won't let you down. The only person you need to prove yourself to is the one standing in the mirror every morning. Good point. You know, that's gonna sting for a few days. You gonna be ready for duty? Well, I'm not looking forward to slapping my armor back on, but I'm always ready. Glad to hear it. Ah! Careful! All right, that's uh, everyone, I believe. All right, let's get out of here. Spectre status recognized. Please select a destination. One moment, please. Yeah, next camping trip. Yay! Return to Normandy, please. Thank you. Commander. All right, we got that taken. I got this taken care of. You always pull through, Commander. We've received the supplies from Tactus. Everything good? Indeed. 
We've acquired some very useful equipment. As such, I've been able to enhance the effectiveness of our Medigel delivery systems. I've nice. also collated information that Liara may find of interest. Check with Cliff. Ooh. Oh yeah, wasn't I supposed to be able to get... Ah, oh, okay. One second, chat. Okay. Um, we don't need any of those right now. Okay, I don't think... Yeah, there's nothing else really to speak with anybody about, except... Hold on, uh, first... Uh, Ashley... Oh, Ashley is here. She's at uh, Starboard Observation. Be to our left. Shepard. Okay, nope, nothing yet. Okay. Because so that means Combat Center, back to Combat Center, and where are we gonna go? Right. I have four points. E I'm actually gonna start reserving them because I don't think we're really anything. Increase damn it. I don't use grenades. At least not often enough, so I'm not going to actually worry about getting this. And the orbit. Find X server scientists. Oh, 
lost and found. Now let's go ahead and jump on in. Boop. Um, yeah, we're good on that. Oh, this does apply piercing. Okay, I was just like, huh? Scientists have been holed up out here. Our intel is minimal. Sir, I'm picking up chatter from a Cerberus squad engaging the supply depot. Engaging the scientists? And if I'm reading it right, sounds like more troops are on the way. Okay, set us down, then get out of here. I need these scientists alive. Looks cold. Jacob, you are making out of this. No wonder Cerberus abandoned this place. It's freezing. All right, just keep moving. 
What did these people do to bring this down on their heads? No, we can't. And hold them much longer. Damn. I just blew him to bits. Shepherd of the Alliance. The enemy is clear for now. Open the door. Is Jacob there? It's okay, Bryn. <clears throat> Jacob. Oh my God. Uh, I'm all right. The others didn't make it. What are you doing here? I'm supposed to be protecting these people from the elusive man and his attack dogs. Are they gone? For now, but they'll be back. Uh, sure you're okay? Yeah, I'll walk it off. Uh, save my life one more time and I'll start owing you. This one's on the house. Hey, yo. Good to see you too. Staying out of trouble, I see. Shepard, this is Dr. Bryn Cole. She's in charge here. Tell me what's going on. Intel says you're Cerberus. We're all ex-Cerberus. Scientists, mostly. Civilians? Call us refugees. If we hadn't run, we'd be dead. Why does the elusive man want to kill you? Our stories are different, but the themes are the same. We were each using information from the Collector Base to work on the different components of a larger tech. After someone completed their component, they disappeared. No bodies, just gone. As we progressed, we started feeling like we were signing each other's death warrants. The elusive man doesn't mess around. If he can't control it, he'll destroy it. The brain trust here has to be a significant loss for him. You had to know they were going to find you. It's a pretty smart bunch. We covered our bases. But the elusive man is one tenacious bastard. Time to evacuate. Agreed. Just need to get the AA guns on the roof back online. Cerberus is jamming them somehow. With those guns down, Cerberus will just blow our escape shuttles out of the sky. Might be the network link. I'll check and meet you upstairs. Jacob, you should get that wound looked at. I'm good. I mean, I will. Commander, I should see to my people. Join me upstairs when you can. Jacob Taylor, way out here. That's a surprise. Jamie. Come here with these Your partner was brave. He wouldn't want you to crumble like this. He's right. We're getting out of here alive. I promise. Thank you. Evacuation in progress. Remain calm. Evacuation in progress. Remain calm. Woo! Commander Shepard, I've heard about you. Another Cerberus defector, I suppose. Something like that? Dr. Gavin Archer. I imagine we've both crossed the elusive man in our own way. How did you end up here? The research I did for Cerberus hurt a lot of people. I've done things no human should. There I was. With blood on my hands, blood I could never wash away. 
The elusive man didn't care. He said our girl was greater than any sacrifice it took to attain it. I take it the elusive man didn't just let you resign. <laughs> For a man who loves to lecture about morality's shades of grey, he's very black and white when it comes to obedience. Either you do the job, or you die trying to quit. How did you end up here? The research I did for Cerberus. There I was. The elusive man didn't. What kind of work did you do for Cerberus? It was called Project Overlord. An experiment attempting to find non-violent methods for controlling the Geth. That actually doesn't sound like a bad idea. Yes. Well, like most things the elusive man touches, my work became corrupted by decrees. Suffice it to say, things didn't end well. How did it go wrong? Serendipity, I'm afraid. The Geth were unresponsive to my attempts to communicate with them, until my younger brother David made a breakthrough. He was an autistic savant, a mathematical genius. In no time, he'd mastered the Geth language and was communicating with them. You mean he could speak directly with the Geth? It was rudimentary at first, so I decided to take the next step. Tap David straight into their network. It was sensory overload. No mind, even a savant's, could process the barrage information. It drove him insane. Did David volunteer for this? The elusive man kept pushing for results. I was eager to please him. It seemed harmless at first. You forced your own brother to do this. Believe me, it's a nightmare I relive every night. He went berserk. His mind became a computer virus that infected all our systems. He killed dozens of lab personnel. They finally had to detonate nuclear weapons over the base to stop the havoc. That's all, Doctor. I appreciate your help getting us out of here, Commander. Yeah. At least he learned the error of his ways. I hope. Workbench. Get the text from Stockholm cell to pack their own crates. I need you up here. Don't be a jerk. There's only two of those guys. It'll just take me a minute. And make sure those samples from Project Mia get out on the second shuttle. I've already dropped one box. My hands were shaking so hard. We're going to make it. What's the status of the guns? Still waiting. I have my best people on it. How many scientists are here? 43, plus research assistants. You ran with over 40 people? When you fear for your life, there's a lot you can do. Bryn, I can't possibly dismantle the genetic amplification components in time. I'm sorry, Dr. Boehner. It's important work, but right now you need to tend to your family. Wait, there are families here? Children? Like we didn't have enough to worry about. So these refugees brought everyone with them? Yes. We have about 17 kids here. Partners, spouses, parents. I promised these people refuge. A new life free from Cerberus. I just never imagined the elusive man would... That's what evil counts on. That it's hard for good people to imagine. Okay. Everyone left gets out of here alive. This escape will have to be carefully executed. I'd hoped. We tried so hard to make sure it wouldn't come to this. What's the news? Can't tell. Only know I can't fix it from here. I'm going to the roof. Cerberus landed a shuttle there a couple minutes ago. You in? Jacob, you're injured. I'll fix the guns. No way. These are my people. I'm going. Just because you survive one suicide mission doesn't mean you get two. Ah, uh, fine. But I'm gonna talk you through it from here. Cerberus is probably jamming the satellite link. Radio me when you found the controls and I'll give you the override code. Will do. Evacuation in progress. After checking in, please remain in the 
Leave those things. Let's just get the hell out of here. Commander Shepard. Shepard, I'm in here. Hey, you okay? How have you been? Give us a minute. This is crazy. I didn't think I'd ever see you again. I know the feeling. So how'd you become a gun for hire? Long story. It was an opportunity I couldn't resist for people I came to care about. You seem good. You look good. These are great people. Defending their ideals? I like it. I think I found what I'm meant to do. You still think about what happened to your dad? Haunts me more like. How long have you known Brynn? We met through a mutual friend in the Mumbai cell. Guess I've known her for a year. We had a lot in common. Then she came to me about her missing colleagues. Asked for my protection, my help finding a place to run to. How could I say no? Who is she to you? We're together. And you run this enclave with her? You settling down, Jacob? Yeah, maybe. It's just, um... If these are our final days, I want to spend them protecting these people. Building a life. Whatever's left of it. What's the story, Jacob? Why are you working in a place like this? After we got back, well... Things look different when you come back from a suicide mission alive. So I quit Cerberus, I quit everything. And sat by the Mediterranean for a while. That's when I lost track of you. And what did all that fresh air and meditation teach you? That what I choose to fight for better mean something to me. That it comes from the heart. We could sure use you. It's real tempting, Shepard, but I like where I'm at. I'm important to these people. I want a life. I want a family. Sure, I get that. No, Shepard. The Normandy's your real love. Doesn't mean I don't want to say to hell with it sometimes. <laughs> but you won't. You can't. Anything on Cerberus I should know about? The elusive man became obsessed with indoctrination. I know that. You ever wonder how it all went wrong? I mean, was I blind? I remember him being an idealist. How come I couldn't see the evil? Don't beat yourself up. And if you ever get that crystal ball working, give me a heads up, because I'd love to know how this all plays out. <laughs> right. I should focus on getting these people out of here. You bet. Let's get to it. And Jacob's a good man. I'm not willing to die to save this data. Let me. Told you that we should have gone to sanctuary. What would these people have done if we hadn't shown up? These civilians had no hope of coming out of this alive. No kidding. Oh, I, I get, I get stuck on this time. Anyways. This game has a lot of things we can get stuck on. Got the jump. Find the satellite tower. The hell?
Jesus. I'm like blowing these guys apart. 